What's going on? It's coming out. What? Can't do that. It's not due for months. Well, tell that to the fetus. Oh God, it's huge. I thought you were keeping tabs. I was. It wasn't that big this morning. There's too much pressure. It'll kill it. Can you feel it? Okay. Do you feel that that helped to set your foundation as a young actor to becoming an Academy Award winning actor? Well, I think yeah, um, getting a intense formal acting education at a young age was very useful in applying um, both those techniques and what I've absorbed in real life into roles. I think a lot of, I often, when I talk to young actors, I often say that, you know, it's not really about you know, how much time you spend in a classroom studying technique. I think technique is there to help you when, when and to help you connect to things when you, when you can't. And you have to rely on, uh, you have to rely on specific things to help you get there. But if you know how to get there, and you can really get there and, and, and make a connection and be present and listen and not be, um, become too self-conscious about other people around or the camera that, that's on you, then that is, that is the goal and then you're doing it. And, and I think sometimes what happens in the training process is that you feel that there are rules that you should be doing things by and that, that there's a right way and a wrong way. And I don't feel that there's a right and a wrong way. I think there's, you either can make a connection or you can't. And then if you can't, then it's useful to have techniques to help you kind of find your way back to that. But, um, uh, you know, I think, you know, just, it's a great creative, especially for, especially for young people, I think it's a great uh, form of, uh, you know, art artistic expression and you know, young people have a tremendous imagination, and so it's 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 something that is. I think most people should at least give it a shot, and you know, not not necessarily try to make a career of it, but to it's useful. I think it's really yeah. wonderful. Now, I want to I want to dive into the film. Okay. I saw an underlining Adam and Eve type of theme. Do you feel that human cloning is that forbidden fruit in this movie? Empty. Clive? 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 Gavin. Get out of there, I'm gonna gas it. Wait. Don't kill it. Elsa, get out, okay? I'm hitting the gas. I'm not gonna hurt you. In three, two, one. Clive, I said don't. Well, it's not necessarily cloning that, that takes place, but it's, it's, yes, we're, 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 we're meddling where we probably shouldn't meddle. And um, 
um, it's it's taking that extra step and not taking moral and ethical considerations, uh, not, not not taking those moral morals and ethics into consideration, and puts uh, you know puts everybody in danger and and, and creates a tremendous amount of. Uh, uh, Pain and suffering, and, and all the you know all the things that come with it, and, and that that's something to consider. You know? Right. And one last question. So when you brought up ethics, this movie is dealing with you know science and whether or not to cross that that line. Do you feel as though there's ever a point where ethics becomes is put on the back burner for the the evolution of science? Is that ever? A um, I mean, we have. You know, for the most part, in, in a public forum, there are there are bioethics committees, and there are a lot of people supervising what is being done. And I think scientists in general have a very strict ethical code and uh, you know rules that they follow. Um, that's not to say that there are rogue people out there that that you know go beyond the boundaries. But for the most part, I think it's more positive than negative. Well, thank you so much. I enjoyed the film. Sure. It gave us something to think about. Thanks. Pleasure.